The Bleak Inlet beckons, but first, Carter Hydro is tempting our attention like it does. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where I have just arrived. Oh, you know what? I don't think I scavenged that, did I? Yeah, I've literally just arrived here outside of Carter Hydro. So let's go ahead and see what we can grab from the area. There might be some things worth looting. Energy drink. First aid kit. Antibiotics. Okay. Nope. Oh, plastic container. So there's this and one other location to search. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Some spray paint that I'm going to completely ignore, like always. I'm going to break down these boxes just to indulge my curiosity a bit. Also, it will help me warm up a little. Oh, I'm hungry. Apparently. Let's go ahead and eat these dusty pork and beans. Doesn't that just sound so appetizing? Dusty pork and beans. Dusty. Let's go ahead and drink some water. And... Now we're good to go. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm tempted to <laughs> also enjoy the dusty tomato soup. But we'll do the granola bar. And I guess chat down on a few cattails, since I've got them. It's one of the reasons I didn't pick any more at the end of the last episode when I was walking by them. I have so freaking money. I just don't need to pick more at the moment. And remember, we're still running on a setting where there are fewer cattails in this than there are in an interloper game. This is not an interloper adjacent uh, custom difficulty, for the record. It is not. This is more of a stalker adjacent custom difficulty, slightly harder than stalker, but some of the settings are still more challenging than loper. Just not the main ones in this case. It's been interesting, <laughs> especially now that I can record regularly again. It's interesting. Emergency stem, very nice. So I think I've made up for the emergency stems that I used in the Broken Railroad or in Burr. So that's nice. There's a worn wool shirt, pork and beans, tomato soup, a wool toque, very nice indeed. Doing pretty well so far, and we haven't even entered Carter Hydro. So there's a good chance for a lot of really nice loot right around the corner. Oh, I've already searched that. At this point, like, there are still some better clothing items that I could find. Like, if I had a couple of expedition parkas <laughs> for my outer layer, I'd be very, very happy. But we haven't found any yet. There is a pretty good chance, though, that we're about to. We are entering the most generous loot location in Mystery Lake. So with that in mind, let me quickly visit this vehicle. And then we're going to head into Carter Hydro. Apologies for triggering any French members of our community. You know who you are. All right, read text. A new cave is opened up in Milton near the old trapper's place. Earthquake? Uh, I'm well aware. I literally have already been through that cave in this series. Thank you very much. That's a thing that we did very early on. As I rediscovered prior to the last episode when I used my time machine. Okay. I know all about that cave. All right. And of course the wind is blowing in my face, making it harder for me to just walk up to Carter Hydro. It's so rude. It's unbelievably rude. Okay. And here we are. I no longer have to worry about the wind in my face. You know what would be nice, though? Some lantern fuel. I'm likely to find some. I'll refuel this lantern as soon as I can. But let's go ahead and start searching this place up. 
I might even drop a bunch of stuff here by the door just so that I can, like, walk around this place and not be fully encumbered. Which is, honestly, when you're looting Carter Hydro on this difficulty setting, you pretty much have to do that. Because otherwise, like, it's just too much. There's a light shell. Yeah, let's actually do that. Um, let me check the size of these containers. The briefcase can hold 20... Ooh, 22 pounds. Really? How much can the trash can hold? 33. All right, let's use the trash can first. So we're going to open the trash can. And sorting by weight, we're going to put the rifle away. We're going to put that away. We're going to put that away. We're going to put the scrap metal away. We're just going to dump, like, dump all of the heavy stuff that we're carrying. I'm kind of tempted to keep the flashlight because that would be... If there was an Aurora... If we were searching at night and there was an Aurora, that actually would kind of work. All right, so we're going to put, we'll keep the bedroll, keep the cooking pot, put the skillet away, put the hacksaw away, keep the cry bar, put the travel away, put the light shell away, put those away. Yeah, we're literally just going by weight here. Okay, so now, yep, those books can go up. Oh, the tinder plugs can just get dropped. I didn't realize I had that much tinder on me. Oh, that uh, container's full. So now, briefcase it is. This is glorious. This will make it a lot easier to manage. Yeah, I guess I'll just put the Tinder plugs up. Um, those can go away. I'll keep the canister on me just because I would hate to forget it. I really would. Alright, we'll put that clothing away. Alright, there's not a lot else that I can drop, but there are some things. Put the torches away. Put one flare away. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to be here harvesting stuff up, let's go ahead and drop the fresh deer hide right down on the ground here. And that is more than enough. Let's now get the lantern back out and get back to work. Now I will be able to fully scavenge this place. There are a lot of longtime viewers right now that are going, Who the hell are you? Where is Hadrian? That was entirely too inventory efficient what is happening i know i know see this is what happens when my cognitive resources are freed up by not stressing about my computer working all the time you have no idea i'm sorry to keep talking about this but like the reason i keep talking about it is i am in a perpetual state of just experiencing for how many months and years including before the channel went offline in 2020 that i just like was not realizing how much I was sort of like suppressing my reaction and even my awareness of how slow my old processor was. And it's not a slow processor. It's just for what I was trying to get it to do, especially this year and last year. <laughs> this is what happens when all that stress is just no longer present. Onwards and upwards, my friends. And thank you again for your patience. It means the world. Let's go ahead and take that water. I did pick up another pry bar there. That's not really necessary, so I'm probably going to drop that in a second. I don't even think it was particularly good condition. Hope nobody needs this <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just going to chuckle in perpetuity from now on whenever I find fleece mittens. Ever since the beginning of Season 0, the original Season 0 run, which we didn't finish because we had to start this one when the patch dropped, like, it's just so hilarious to me every time because we were in the Forsaken Airfield, okay? And the game, like, piled me in Fleece Mittens. So much so that I have a future emote unlock planned for the channel that features Fleece Mittens. <laughs> It's there. It's totally there. Okay, so this is where I was expecting to find another lantern. And there isn't one. I mean, there's a flare. So, I mean... Okay. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Alright, I'll be able to drop a lot of stuff before I leave this area. Alright, not a lot of time left on this lantern. Summit Soda. Alright, 
there is the safe to scavenge here. Did I check that trash can already? No, I didn't. No, I did not. So there's that. Oh, yeah, safe. Let's put this out. It might not seem like it, but it's midday. I'm just going to go fast. All right, that looked like 20. 18, actually. Uh, 34 or 35. 18, 34, 35. There it is. 24. This will come in handy. Hmm. Maple syrup. And another insulated flask. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the flare that I just found. Also, before I light it, let's go ahead and do a few things. Um, I need to drop the newsprint that I've picked up. We're going to drop that antiseptic as well, because it's not useful to have that. It's so good to see all those stems sitting in my inventory. Holy crap. I should probably keep those gloves, if I'm being totally honest. I should probably keep them. Yeah, let's pick those back up. Okay, let's light this. This episode's going to get a little redder now, but it's okay. There may still be lantern fuel yet, but for now we're using a flare. My god, this game is pretty. All right, spray paint. Still be tricky, nice. That's one nice thing about scavenging Carter Hydro, even on higher difficulties with like Hey, not just any grape soda. Stacy's grape soda, everybody. It's been a while. Um, even on higher uh, difficulties with like more difficult loot tables, when you come in here, like you're very likely to find enough food and water to sustain your trip while you're here. It's nice. All right, so let's break some of this down because I'm always so curious about what potentially is in these spaces. I am burning through this flare doing this. I'm well aware of it, but I don't think there's actually anything here. I just... The curiosity had to be addressed. Let's drop those. It had to be. Okay. Now we go upstairs. Let me make sure I did search everything here. Yep, yep, yep. Anything behind that box? Nope. Anything behind this door? Anything behind there? Nope. Alright. Upstairs we go. Still pretty optimistic that there will be a lantern somewhere here on this upper level. And if not on the upper level, there will almost certainly be... Ah? I think I can use this. What did I say? What did I say? All right, let's go ahead and harvest this one for the spare fuel. Refuel this one, which is almost full. So we're going to have some extra fuel, in fact... Man, that worked out. And now we can easily run to a shooting gun. Wow, that's lots of shooting skill that I have to go through here. I do still need to read the first shooting guide that I found last episode, which is not going to take a short amount of time. But I might be able to do that for too much longer. This is turning into a pretty decent little run now. I'm not sad about it. Man, <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the same thing I was talking about earlier. It's just like, oh yeah, this is what it's like to record and make content for YouTube when you're not stressed out and you can like work your schedule. It's just, oh, it feels so good. Feels so good. All right. 
Not just any grape soda. Another granola bar. Nice. Nothing else here. Okay. Bandage. So glad I found that lantern. That was clutch timing. Couldn't have come at a better moment. Because I really didn't want to burn another flare if I could help it. Nothing there. Nothing there. Ketchup chips. Done. Honestly surprised I'm not finding more up here, especially in the way of, like, ammunition, but that might be about to change as I turn around and look at this desk behind me. Stack of papers. So we're almost done with the top half of the dam here. Well, actually, no, we're not, because... The top half of the dam is technically this portion, but also when you go down the stairs, everything above the doorway to the lower dam is still the upper dam, you know? Oh, there's another fire striker. Perfect. That's the kind of thing I was expecting to find, if I'm being totally honest. So the fact that I'm looking at that, that makes me very happy. It's a better condition fire striker, and frankly, that will allow me to pretty much drop the other ones, or at least drop two of them. Because I don't need to carry around so many fire strikers. Although, why drop it? You know, like, wh why should I drop it? That doesn't make any sense. I can just, like, put them away. And come back for them later. There's no reason to, uh... Just drop them and leave them for all time. I can put them in a spot where I can come back to them. So, I'm still gonna drop them. Just not in a discard way, but in a... I'll be back later if I happen to need you kind of way. All right, cool. Stop that for a moment and again do a bit of inventory management. Let's drop those. Wait, what did I just drop? Did I have a third newspaper and not realize it or did I drop something other than a newspaper just now? There's a water bottle sitting on the ground. Nope, man, just a stack of papers. I don't know how I missed that water bottle. Probably because it was standing next to that calendar, so it's kind of camouflaged in. That's funny. How many other times have I missed that bottle because it's sitting right there? Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and harvest the ragged fleece mittens. Already pretty low condition. I'm tempted to repair some of this stuff. I really am. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair the ball of cloth. That's only going to take 25 minutes. We've got the cloth. I just don't want to do all the repairs all at once. I want to keep moving. I'm going to drop that maple syrup because it's not worth the risk. We're going to drink these sodas. Because they are worth the risk. Sodas are never a food poisoning concern, thankfully. Am I really that tired already? I suppose I am. Okay, that's surprising. Let's keep moving. So we are now genuinely almost done. Oh, hello. Really? Really? How did I miss you? Hope nobody needs this anymore. Another balaclava. I mean, I don't need another balaclava, but that's very nice of you, game. Let's put this away for a second. And we're going to rip that up. It's going to take 10 minutes. We'll get that cloth back that we just used to repair the first one. So that's a gift. And let's get the lantern back out and head downstairs. Already checked that container. And I think I've already checked these lockers. Yes, I have. Anything else in the area? Not really. Okay. Just make sure I'm not overlooking anything. Sometimes there's a fire striker up here, but doesn't seem like there was one this time. Unless, hold on, 
I'm gonna do, I'm gonna indulge my curiosity one more time. Break that down. Let's drop the tinder plugs. It's so eerie seeing the light out of the corner of my eye there. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in there. All right, good to know. So one of the reasons I'm checking that, for those of you, whether you're new to the game or have been playing for a long time, one of the reasons I'm doing that is that when they started adding the ability to like find things in broken down boxes and cardboard, which was not originally a possibility in the long dark. Um, it was only in the newer zones, but then when it, when they did the loot refresh, there have been some open questions a couple of times. And some of you in the comment section may know this better than me. Um, but there have been some open questions a couple of times, like, well, wait, did I pick up that can opener? Or did I not have my can opener on me? Oh, no, I didn't pick it up. 79%. I'll drop the lesser of the two. So yeah, there, there are open questions about whether or not the older spots, like where there are boxes in the original zones, now can have stuff in them if you break them down. And I still don't know for sure. So that's why I'm just kind of indulging that curiosity. Again, for the sake of, like, trying things out. A lot has changed about the long, about the long dark over the years, and especially if I'm going to do a new survival school series once the Tales updates have finished being released. Then I need to kind of be familiar with the game as it presently is. And that involves bringing myself back up to speed with all of that. Okay, so I do want to climb that rope. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I didn't actually have to put the lantern away. That was unnecessary. Oh, wow. It's a surprisingly fast climb. Cedar firewood, cedar firewood. Nice. All right, so there could be some stuff up here. Very nearly done searching this area, though. Nothing there. Nothing in the cardboard box. <laughs> or so I think. All right, I see some pinnacle peaches there. Hey, more lantern fuel. 49%. Not bad. Okay. Now, I believe there can be some things in these crates. So I'm going to trust that intuition or that curiosity one more time. Oh yeah, I don't have my hatchet on me right now, so I'm definitely going to spend a lot of time doing this. Reclaimed wood. Anything else? Oh no, there's, there's nothing. Okay. Well, I tried. I did try. Alright, let's go downstairs before it gets any later because we do have Aurora settings turned up. Oh, come on. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't that suck if like at the moment that I got stuck on the wires that's when the aurora started and then the run just ended immediately all right there's a broken arrow just one it looks like all right there's an, another up oh, there's the other one another storm lantern as well not bad good condition sardines heck yeah all right let's keep going we are encumbered now at this point, but it's more Sorry, due to the fact... Ah, uh, you can. You're fine. We dropped so much stuff at the entrance, Jen. We're good. We are good. I will take that thermal underwear just for the cloth. This will come in handy. Not just any grape soda. Our third in like what one episode feels like it. That's Carter Hydro for you. Lots of grape soda. Lots of loot in general, to be honest. Okay, already checked there. Trash can. Another trash can. And there's probably... Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're literally fine. You have so much food. Like, you have no reason to worry. Let's just keep moving a minute longer. Okay, more than a minute, but not much longer. Because we're 
almost done with the dam. Alright, there's a hunting knife, which... I don't know if that's going to be too useful to me at this point. We'll have to check the condition of the other one to be sure. Being very mindful of the wires right now. Looks like I wasn't quite close enough to the desk the first time I tried to search that drawer. So I tried to put out the lantern instead. It's like, no, 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 no. Not what I want to do. There's some more matches on the floor there. Revolver casing, nice. Some cured leather. A first aid kit. Painkillers. Another flare. Anything else? Not seeing anything, but... Yeah, we're good. Alright. Almost done. Still moving pretty fast, too, because I was careful to put that stuff down at the start of the episode, so that is helpful. Running shoes. That's going to be some extra leather for me. And with that, I can now step up here and not worry as much about the wires. Especially if I can get back across them before any roars start. It's just a little bit dicier because they can start at any point. And I would hate to be caught on the wrong side of them, or worse, on top of them. Chips. Yeah, see, there's plenty of food, Jennifer. Nothing to worry about food-wise. Not just any grape soda. That's four. That is four. This is a deluge of grape soda. Another storm lantern. Alright, so we have found all the things. You know what we haven't found a lot of, though? Ammunition. I would have expected more rifle ammunition laying around this place, and we really haven't found any in this particular run. That just goes to show you how much the loot tables have changed. And they really, one of the reasons the loot table refresh was so vital to do is that the world has gotten so much bigger that they needed to spread some things out to where you don't really feel like you found all of the loot you can find in the world across all the various categories of loot that can be found until you've kind of been everywhere. They didn't want to have, as far as I know, this is kind of my guess. I, I don't recall if I actually read anything explicitly saying this, but my instinct is, and my knowledge of Hinterland is that they didn't really want to have, like they originally had Mystery Lake as the only zone in the game at one point. So you don't want Mystery Lake to have everything that you need. Even if it's not like a huge quantity as if like just imagine all the stuff in the map as it currently is imagine all of those items in their current quantities across the entire map all being crammed in the mystery lake you don't need that either but even if it was just one of everything that you need in in low quantities but all in mystery lake that's what they wanted to avoid like let's make players go elsewhere and one of the reasons for that is they actually have data they had it back in the day but they've well they've had it for years to be honest that, like, a depressingly low percentage. I didn't realize I had that key. That's nice. Wow, three MREs. There's some loot. Yeah, a depressingly low percentage of players that own the Long Dark ever leave Mystery Lake. In terms of the, like, when they first start playing in Sandbox. People just don't, they don't leave the initial zone. And so it's like, okay, part of that is just due to, you know, the, the, the presence of players maybe that aren't as invested in the game or, you know, don't understand as much about how to play, but also, like, maybe we can motivate people to some degree. Okay, need to keep an eye on food. Maybe we can motivate people by, you know... I think we're good to go. By putting loot in other zones and literally making them go elsewhere to get everything they need. Because they don't have a choice. It is a survival game after all, so scarcity matters. There's some wood matches. Okay, that's everything. 
I'm going to throw my bedroll down right here. We're going to put this away. A couple of things. Before I do anything, let's go by condition. We're going to eat this banged up tomato soup. This is 29% and we're going to eat that before it gets too much worse. Pretty much can eat everything in order of condition here. Except for the, the bannock. Perfect. Yeah, this is going to work well. Because now I don't have to worry about this stuff ever giving me food poisoning. If I eat it now, as opposed to later. And then we will top things off with the Summit Soda, which is, of course, we're getting rid of some excess weight as well. But we will... Drink these pinnacle peaches. Well, we'll eat them as well. <laughs> we will eat the peaches, drink the juice. I'll do the granola bar as well, why not? I don't think we're even going to fully ingest that whole thing. Wow, I've got a lot more water than I thought, because I picked up those bottles. Okay, and we're not even in the grand scheme. The funny thing is, we're not even that encumbered. I have some wood, which I can frankly drop. I don't need that. I've got some clothing on me, which I can drop. Let's go ahead and harvest that. Getting pretty tired, but it's fine. This will be a nice ending point for the episode. I just need to get rid of a few more things. Now uh, let's harvest that. Yeah, this is going to work beautifully. Because I'll wake up and it will definitely be daylight, and I don't have to worry about getting caught in the aurora. And then, I was thinking that maybe we would be done, but it does take a lot of time, even though I moved pretty quickly. But the next episode, we can head into the ravine and into Bleak Inlet directly. So pretty much on schedule. Let's go ahead and harvest these two lanterns I found. And now we're looking really good encumbrance wise. All right, so we're going to lose a bit of condition to this exhaustion, but it's fine. All right, I've got that extra knife that's not needed. I'm going to drop two of those. Get that extra lantern fuel. Fan freaking tastic. Look at all that. Okay. And now, definitely going to need to drink water before I go to sleep, but I'm not going to be that encumbered. We're going to sleep for 12 hours straight to fully recover our rest, fully recover condition. We'll also go ahead and wrap this episode here. In the next one, like I said, it is straight to the ravine and into hello let's drink some water so that jennifer doesn't complain <laughs> as of the uh start of the next episode but i'm going to pass time for an hour just to get a save point and into the ravine into bleak inlet and then we will investigate the next step finally this is progress i've been waiting to make since season seven of against all odds and it's right around the corner at this point i don't know how i'm going to investigate the signal i'm gonna have to wait for an aurora but um we're moving in the right direction, and it is on the horizon. It's closer than on the horizon. It's approaching. It's a few hundred yards away, snarling in our faces like timber wolves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. For early episodes, channel emotes, and member badges, look for the join button. New episodes drop at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time every day but Wednesday, and comments are always welcome. So leave your thoughts below, and I'll see you next time.